need to start being comfortable being uncomfortable. And a lot of times uh, when we're talking to one another, it's weird and distracting and I don't wanna engage and that's something that I didn't, you know, wasn't raised to talk about. And so the question that I always ask parents when they're upset with something that's being done is, you sound uncomfortable, but are you unsafe? There's reasons and strategies and policies as to why we have to operate for our students' safety. And so you may not like what was asked about a student's pronoun and said, please call them, they, they. And then the teacher continues to go around and ask, what pronoun would you like? Your student cannot doubt on that. Your student wasn't unsafe in that situation by declining because by view, you can say she, her. But for this particular student, they might be categorized in the wrong gender and they want to be respected and safe. And so I think at our table, as we were talking about that, how do we teach the learned behavior of empathy and kindness and being able to uh, get rid of the conversations that are just mean to be mean for mean's sake. Uh, we can block and delete and ignore, but as it was mentioned with uh, Carol Lynn, she said on TikTok, they're so mean. And so what do we do? And it's starting with the kids. And I always encourage parents, I'm, I'm all up in my kids' text messages. <laughs> they are not allowed to change passwords. I will read through and glance through, and I have responded to their group chats, either on behalf of them or I've said, shut it down, or my kid's leaving this chat. Um, and I think kids need to know that adults are going to help them monitor and self-regulate because they don't have a frontal lobe all the way formed. We know they have special accommodations with that, and we have to step in as adults and stop sitting back and not saying anything.